So far we've been dealing with object interactions and how to program them, but let's move on to a more visual aspect. We'll be producing a light effect. A few tutorials ago you must have noticed the plume of red light from a rotating object. Well, that was our finished product. To remind you, the rotating object in question can be seen out there on our little bridge with a large wireframe cone designating where the plume of light will come from. Uh, we're going to be describing to the program what we want the light to do from, you guessed it, the Antares graph. Alright, let's go to the trigger group. We've got a compound object there. And here we have our object. Let's go over to that graph. What we see here is the little algorithm which causes our rotating light to move when it receives the alarm on message. The function we need is a wholly different animal from the functions which invisibly handle data. We need a visual effect. Let's head to the Unity Engine branch and I'll show you the exhaustive way to do it. From here we're going to find the light category. The light set is a series which gives lights properties. We need a whole bunch of these to describe the light we need in entirety. After setting up properties, we need to link them all. Isn't there a better way? Why, well, yes, there is. Let's get rid of all this. And what we're looking for is one of our Antares wizards. Here it is in all its glory, the universal wizard. All those properties from before, well, they were values. So we're going to get our set value wizard. You may ask, how can this be? Just one value? Oh no, not just one. Let's get our light producing object all up in this business so that it may accept our values. And it is a light, of course. Link it to our value setting wizard. Okay, that went to the variable connector. Let's get it to the instance connector. And now begins the wizardry. With our wizard selected, we head over to the inspector. Here, on, on undocked for a better view. You see all these? These are all the potential variables that may affect our light. The wizard isn't stupid. It knows what may affect a light and what may not. Note how our light object is up there in instance. Uh, let me show you something, since seeing is believing. There we have our enabler ticked off in the wizard. Now we go over to the look on the master graph, and presto change -o, the boolean variable is now shown as enabled. Okay, now I'm going to show you something else. Both instance and enabled are already in the parameters in field, but all that other stuff still isn't. With some ticked off, let's see what happens. color, cookie, um, intensity, range, look, they show up on the master graph. Okay, let, let's get rid of them for now. Okay, we'll do this for real now. Let's rearrange a little. Okay. Important step here. Our activator, the one that receives the alarm on message, that's going to turn on our light in parallel. Bam. Now we got ourselves a rotating light that can actually light up, but it won't unless we also do this. Alright, moment of truth. Let's go test our simple rotating light. And there we see Gnoblin logged off from Skype. Nice, beautiful red light, see that? If we walk out of our trigger, everything shuts off, just as we'd programmed it to. And now we're back with a vengeance, and so is the light. Yes, well, there you have it. Awesome. That spaceship won't do anything for us yet, so let's callously ignore it. 
Okay. Uh, let's let's take a look at our entire system. There's our trigger, and we can see our good friend, the invisible incorporeal trigger field. We had the trigger outfitted with a message window gizmo, which describes its status, uh, since well, it's invisible. As our avatar walks into the trigger, the trigger sends a program-wide message, alarm on. That message may be received by however many related algorithms, and we don't need to worry about how connecting them all together. Let's try it all out again. See? Untrigger stay true. The light reminds us how everything is working swimmingly. Our update activator refreshes the status continuously, and the transform do rotation is rotating the light. See how they are outlined? After a job well done, it's a good idea to remind ourselves to save our work, lest we be forced to repeat it. Now let's stop our program and congratulate.